What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Say hi Jackson. Say hi Jefferson. <laughs> oh my god. So before we start this video, I want to announce another giveaway for you guys. Since you guys really, really liked the last one that I did of the dash cam giveaway, I decided to do it again, but this time it's a better model. So this is the next base. 522 GW dash cam. It records in 1440 pixels at 30 frames a second or 1080 at 60 frames a second. Um, it's got the uh, intelligent parking mode. It's currently their top tier camera right now and it also comes with their 32 gig memory card. And this one I got for Lauren for her new blazer. So she got one too. And next base was kind enough to give us this one to do a giveaway for you guys. So here's the dash cam I have in my truck and where I have it mounted, like kind of right under the rear view mirror. So as you can see, there's a suction cup mount. It's the 422 GW. And it's got the little uh, rear view camera here that plugs into the side. So I have that thing hooked up to my ignition fuse all the way in my fuse box here. So once I start the truck, it will automatically turn on as soon as it sees ignition. You'll see here in a second. There it goes and it will start recording. So there you can see it's recording the front view of the truck, the hood there, and then right there in, in this little square piece here, that's the rear view camera. You can see my hand moving in front of it. If you get the rear view camera as well, it'll record two different clips at the same time, front and rear view. I wish I had some saved video footage from it because you would not believe the amount of crazy drivers I see. There's one of them right there. Hey! <laughs> she didn't get the joke. She didn't hear me because I was outside the car. What'd you say? Nothing. Anyways, we're inside Lauren's new blazer. And this is where you're gonna mount it right here, Lauren. Kind of where yep. I have it. Yep. So she stays safe. Or she, at least she has a way of protecting herself if something would happen. Yeah. You ever been driving somewhere and saw something crazy and you're just like, man, I wish I had a camera. Well, there you go. So the rules are very simple to end the giveaway. It's very similar to last time. It's all done on Instagram, so if you don't have an Instagram account, you gotta make one. Once you have that, all you have to do is follow myself on Instagram, Tormagenzio1, as well as NextBase on Instagram, and leave a comment in my photo. So I'll have a photo up there of the official contest entry photo. And all you'll do is, um, like I said, follow both people, myself and NextBase, and then leave a comment. That's it, you'll get entered. And then next video, I will announce a winner and I'll also announce it on Instagram as well. When you leave a comment, make sure you only leave one because if you leave multiple comments, they won't be counted. Only one entry per person. Good luck to everyone entering the contest. So the video you're about to watch is pretty much a compilation of the 2017 ZL1 from the day I took delivery to literally the day I sold the car. I went back through all my videos I ever made of this car and it was pretty cool watching them and, and remembering some fun memories that I had. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Alrighty guys, so here we are, finally in my 2017 Camaro ZL1. So here we are, setting off for the first drive of my 2017 Camaro ZL1. I just actually got a new 2017 ZL1. Oh yeah? So yeah, I have actually, I actually have two of them. I have a 13 and a, and a 17, so. Oh, okay. Well, Chick-fil-A was good, as always. Steve Fast decided to convinced me to do a pull. We're at 68 miles right now on the odometer. Good. Let's go. <laughs> God damn, that thing shifts fast. I'm going to access the line lock system now that is built into the 2017 ZL1s. Now it is Lauren's turn to drive. Yay. If you go that way, we can get to Mexico quicker. All right, cool. So I'm here today at Cecil County Dragway to hopefully set the stock world record for the fastest quarter mile on a 2017 ZL1.
never gotten in that. So today we are in Guitar Mageddon ZL1's ZL1. I want to thank P3 Gauges for sending me a brand new 6th gen Camaro P3 Gauge. I just want to take the time and thank all of you for helping me get to 100,000 subscribers. So today I'm finally getting my windows tinted. It is a 15% tint. Thanks to Andy for tinting my car. Guess what we're doing today? We're out! Look at that, that's really cool oh, yeah, looking. That's money right there. I'm really excited today because I finally got my YouTube play button. So we have to do a little celebration here. Alrighty, so we found a remote parking lot in Mexico. We're gonna do a burnout on the silver play button. I got this play button doing crazy shit like this. So why not do it for the play button? Now that is how you celebrate a hundred thousand subscribers right there so we finally sent lauren down the drag strip in the 2017. talk about nervous so i hit the brakes way too early what we're gonna do today is we're going to baseline here 2017. Look at that. That's definitely more than I thought you was going to put down. Or we can start modding the 17 because I know you guys are asking about that. And we could do that too. She's going to install a mod. Cold air intake from Cold Air Inductions. What do you think? I love it. Can't wait to see some numbers on this bad boy. We're going to go to CSP to get the car dyno. So it so makes I mean, more power way down low and then evens out. The no weeds diverters for the 6th gen Camaro. And open. There you go. That sounds awesome. We're gonna snap a few photos of the cars for the old IG. Some Instagram stuff. And then we gotta go find some, some people to drive them. Yep. I'd say the Mexican drivers did a decent job. Hi, I'm Nick. I have two ZL1s. That's why everybody calls me ZL1. Uh, they're both not here right now. I'd show them to you because I've broken both of them. We're gonna see how the Dodge Demon does in Mexico. There's a lot of people that thought this car would never even beat a Hellcat. Well, it just beat a Demon, so. Mexico's a little long drive, so we gotta, we gotta leave stat. I just wanna thank everyone for getting me to 200,000 subscribers. Mike Davenport's here. We're gonna install a part I got. Look at that. And it looks absolutely awesome. Race. What are you gonna run? My goal is to get like an 11 2. I'm, I'm proud of Lauren. Lauren ran the fastest time. You? Yeah. Mom's gonna learn how to do a burnout today. Maybe what we'll do is use the line lock. Alright, mom's first burnout. That's pretty serious burnout there for mom. The twin turbo build starts today. Dun, 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 dun. This is a uh, 416 re-sleeved LT1. A lot of it's already put together, which is cool. Camshaft is in, the heads are on. So here's the Hellion turbo kit. Everything will look really cool because everything's gonna be black. These are precision 67 millimeter turbos. The complete street had these painted black because I wanted them, like I said, to match everything under the engine bay. We're uh, missing the internals here. They're gonna be shipped out to us pretty soon. <laughs> There's the 416 in. So Eric, how are you feeling? 
Get out the build. As long as the turbo is getting out build good. In my passenger seat right now are the final parts to the turbos. This is the Saturday right before we leave for Camaro Fest. Yeah, the packaging is great. The shipping was not. <laughs> Overnight. Okay, we'll do ground. Look at that. Finally, we got turbos. Two of them. The centerpiece here, this is the most beautiful piece by late model engines. Voila, that sweet intake manifold. Hood closing fitment test. Ooh, ooh. It hit something, didn't it? We had a feeling this may have happened. ZL1 hoods are different. Crisis averted with the hood. That's what you gotta do for a ZL1 hood. Here comes the first startup. It's alive! It's alive. All right, Dad, are you ready to see the, uh, the car? New beast, another right. beast. All right, he got the car all strapped down. The fans are on it. The car's only running on wastegate pressure right now. Six sixty-two and just under six hundred. Yeah, now keep in mind that this is the minimum amount of power that he's going to have. First ride in the twin turbo Z Hell One. It's gonna be awesome. This is exactly what I built this car for, guys. And we are going to head to Camaro Fest 8 in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I'm ready to drink some beers. Got it. Look who decided to crash my room. What? A nice room temperature Zima. <laughs> Light bodied. <laughs> We got Texas Speed's gigantic booth. Yeah, and you're a huge club in China. Okay. 20,000 members. 20,000 muscle car members. Yeah. yeah. China. 700 some miles there and back. So like almost 1,500 miles this car drove. Literally after <laughs> after building it in two days. We are going to switch to E85 and we're going to do port injection. We're going to keep it on 93 right now and we're going to see how far that takes us. Still got more on her, but it's just 93, which is insane. Man, this is awesome. I can literally just go to the pump and fill up at 93 and make 900 horsepower. This one needs to do the uh, downpipes. Yeah. Look at that, those big old three inch downpipes, man. Hell yeah. I like the pedals. Uh, it should get into the 900s pretty easily. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. I put a carbon fiber dash piece, the dash insert in. Ready, here we go. Whoa! Because <laughs> I'm like, ah! You're gonna need to be very careful. We still have room to go to turn this thing up. On just 93. On just 93. We got loud valves, dumps that will open up under boost, Not this is the uh, the fuel pump from Extreme Di. This is the uh, okay pump on this pretty sweet billet piece here. So this is the boost controller that's going to be going on the car. This is working great. The high side from K Tech and Extreme Di. Got the little two-step button down here. <laughs> The twin turbo car just ran as fast as fast, which is pretty awesome. And we're going to show you guys a video of her running the twin turbo car. I seriously felt that like I like I was taking off into space. Yo, Lawrence Carwin in Literally drove the car there 700 miles, raced it, 
I ended up getting to the end of the elimination round and winning the final round of the V8 Super Modified class. The twin turbo ZL1 went in to get the transmission built. We're looking at 1100 wheel horsepower. There's no weight reduction on this car, there's nothing. Back seats. 4130. Take it, you can. I'll bet your other car scaled that. It was never supposed to get to this point. We're back here again at Cecil County Dragway. We're gonna see what we can do. daily faster than your race car. The hard part is balancing being a street car with a race car. So street car wise, it's important that we keep a lot of the creature comforts and daily driver-ness of the car. Balancing being able to drive cross country versus a quarter mile at a time. If we really want to press it, we'd have some other things on this that would take it well out of the street car category, like we'd have uh, gut at everything. We'd have skinnies on the front of it. We'd uh, have a cage in here, a parachute, kill switch, all this stuff. We'd have to run this particular computer, but we'd also have port injection on top of it. Uh, we'd be doing a lot of different things to make it so it uh, geared to be a, a race car. All this work that we did, it all came together. I could drive to California right now if I wanted to, no issue. Can't thank everybody enough that, that helped with the build, all the companies involved with the build, and the biggest company really is Complete Street Performance. I have some decision making here to do on both cars. They both have their pros and cons. What we're gonna be doing is getting rid of this one. There she goes. So there you guys have it, an entire tribute video for the 2017 ZL1. You know, there's a lot of emotions and opinions going around after I made the decision to sell that car. And I just kind of wanted to explain it a little further uh, if you guys maybe missed that in the last video. I sold that because like I was just completely done with it. There wasn't any more I wanted to do with the car. Yes, it was the perfect eight second daily driver. It was, but unless I wanted to take it farther, essentially going to that race car realm, which I didn't really want to do. And if we look at the Freedom Rocket and trying to sell that, it would be really hard. This car was a way better market to sell in. I was able to sell it for more because it's not a race car. And that also allowed me to keep the car on the channel that has always been here. And it has a little bit more sentimental value than this one did and it also is going to allow me to work on the freedom rocket this year and uh, just make some improvements some big improvements and we're also going to be introducing a new vehicle in 2020 which is obviously one of the main reasons why I had to sell a car but the car that's going to be coming up is going to be like I said in the past a driver's car it's going to be something that I can drive whenever I feel like it so I figured I'd keep the race car have a race car and have another driver's car. I wanna thank you guys for your support, those of you that came here since the beginning or even those of you that came here because of this car. I hope you still continue to watch me. I have some great stuff coming and you may even see the twin turbo car back on the channel once or twice this year. I'll leave you guys with that. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're coming here for the first time. And as always, have a great day.